Hey guys, welcome back. You probably thought by now that I had given up on the 20 pull-up challenge, but you'd be wrong. Uh, it did take me a little longer than I expected to do it. I was able to get my 20 pull-ups, uh, not by my birthday in June, but it is now October and I was able to pull them out and get, I believe, 22 here on the video. No, they're not perfect pull-ups, but they're good enough for me and I'm the only person that I have to please. So, uh, Give it a watch and here we go. I hope you enjoyed the 20 pull-ups and I did learn a few things while I was trying to do this 20 pull-up challenge. Uh, some very important things. The first one was not to get overzealous. I started this last, I believe, November and I just really wanted to do 20 pull-ups. And so my mind was willing to do pull-ups every day. And so I tried to do pull-ups every day. Well, my body was not willing to do pull-ups every day and that really hurt me in the long run. Uh, number two is if you're gonna use weights, ease into them. So I started doing, not only doing pull-ups every day, but I added weighted pull-ups Every probably other day, I would do some weighted pull-ups and I worked my way up 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, 25 pounds, and it was just too quick. I was not ready to do weighted pull-ups yet at that point. So I do weighted pull-ups now uh, very slowly and not near as many as I do my main pull-ups, but I worked my way into those and just don't go too fast if you're gonna do weighted pull-ups. That would be number two. Uh, number three is I learned how to rehab an injury using some alternate activities, which I've talked about in videos before, but in this case, I just got to the point where I couldn't do any pull-ups without pain. So I resorted to lat pull-downs. I have a little lat pull-down machine, and I just started very light with lat pull-downs, maybe half my body weight, and did five, then did 10, then did 15, 20, 25, 30. So I worked my way up on those lat pull downs to where I could get probably 50 solid lat pull downs per session with no pain. Then I started back on the pull ups again. And once I did, I went slow and I had no pain. So number three was use alternate activities to work around an injury. And number four, is take more time between your efforts. Again, my, my mind was saying, I can do these things every day, but my body was not willing to do pull-ups every day without some pain. So what ended up working for me was I would do pull-ups one day and I would take at least two days off, sometimes three days off before I would do them again. And that seemed to work really well. I just added for a while one pull-up per session 
per week started with like 10, then went to 11, then went to 12. And eventually I ended up getting the 20 kind of, I originally got 20 because I miscounted. I did four sets of five instead of three sets of five. I counted wrong. So the ones on the video were specifically to try to do 20 pull-ups. So I was able to get a little more that day, but I was very happy with the overall progress and all of it. And what does that mean for you? Uh, don't be afraid to set big goals. I mean, you got to you got to go after the big goals to get anything. Um, you need to temper that excitement, though, with a little bit of caution. Don't go out too fast. Don't go too heavy if you're lifting weights, because um, being injured is a surefire way to miss any goal, especially as you get older. It is easier to get injured, and it takes so much longer to recover from an injury. But don't be afraid to go after a goal. Go after a big one, because any progress you make towards a goal is a win. And any progress you're going to make is preferable to an injury recovery cycle. Injury recovery. Believe me, I've been through that for years and it's not a lot of fun. And so in the end, I was just glad to be able to do pull-ups again, uh, pain-free. I was very happy to get my 20 and I'm going to move on to different things. I still do pull-ups as part of my workouts now. I'm not specifically going for the 20. Uh, I think I could still do 20 um, at any time, but I'm not specifically working for that 20. But if you guys have a goal that you're working towards or a big one that you just accomplished, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one.